afternoon squad i hope everyone's having a fantastic day and i welcome you guys back to another vlog so right now we just came back from tim hortons got a large double double of course <laughs> that will be my thumbnail so i got a vanilla cream puff donut dream donut i had done a review on it and i'm not sure if it's already been released but you guys should definitely check out that review if i can find the review put out for you guys on my review channel i'll put that link at the top of the description you guys gotta check it out the dream donut was awesome so right now we're at this sarah's fruit stand it's on the corner of oxley and st Clair. And they sell a whole bunch of local produce like corn, tomatoes, uh, squash, you know, all sorts of good produce locally. So definitely support uh, small local businesses through these hard times. Definitely uh, you want to support these small businesses, especially, you know, through coronavirus. You know, a lot of businesses has been affected by this uh, COVID-19 and pandemic. So support small local businesses. So that's what we're doing right now. You can get four corns or not four corns, six corns for like four bucks, or you can get a 12 or a dozen for eight bucks, I think. So that's pretty cheap. I mean, you're supporting local businesses and definitely it's well worth it. I mean, uh, Sarah's uh, fruit stand always has amazing corn. It's so sweet, delicious, and uh, you don't even need butter. Like a lot of times you put a lot of butter on uh, corn, but not me. I just put just, I just eat like that because it's that good. So the fruit stands right there. So for those who are wanting uh, to get some local produce and you're in Chatham and you guys are not familiar with Chatham, definitely come here. And I'm talking about those who just moved to Chatham or aren't familiar with the city. So right now I'm in the Salvation Army parking lot and Wendy's is right there. Tim Hortons is right there. A lot of businesses are on the street. Walmart is that direction. And I think that's why the street is so busy because of Walmart. Walmart and other small businesses, but also Burger King is near Walmart. So a lot in that area where Walmart is, it's busy than busier because there's Popeyes, Burger King, Tim Hortons, all of the businesses or on that street. So yeah, if you're ever coming to Chatham and if you're not familiar with the city, definitely uh, on St. Clair is gonna be the busiest that you will ever visit. So I went to Food Basics to get a few things that I wanted to get for making subs at home instead of going to Subway all the time, even though I could live on Subway <laughs> if I wanted to, but I thought I'd get a few things to make subs at home. So I'll show you guys what I got. So this is everything that I got. I got some tomatoes. I got this trio pack, salami, pepperoni, and smoked ham. I got some lettuce. I got some sub buns, of course, Maple City Bakery, support local. And of course, my double double, of course, I need this to function. <laughs> I'm gonna prepare my sub because I am starving. I am so hungry. Uh, that donut didn't fill me up. <laughs> So uh, I'm uh, making a sub and I'm gonna show you guys my sub when it's done. Here is my sub, looking good. Some cheese, some meat, some tomato. Oh my God, that looks so good. I can't wait to dive in. So now we're gonna have corn on the cob. It's the corn on the cob that uh, we got from Sarah's uh, fruit stand. You guys all know, I've showed you guys. Uh, I wanted to at least try it for you guys on the vlog because it looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, this way. Let's try this. Sweet, delicious. I'm like every direction, <laughs> up and down, sideways. And I like my corn just as it is. No butter, no salt, nothing. Just as it is, I love it. Now that was a good corn on the cob, wow support local businesses definitely go to sarah's they have really good corn on the cob sweet delicious just everything 
great about corn on the cob, especially local corn on the cob, even better. So it's 6.20 now in the evening and I'm outside enjoying my iced coffee. Let's sit down. Uh, it was, dinner was really good. I had corn on the cob. I was kind of still kind of full from my sub this afternoon. That sub really hit the spot. That was really good. I might actually have another one tomorrow because that sub was awesome. The sun is just kind of beaming on me. But yeah, that sandwich, phenomenal. I actually got a few people that had messaged me on Instagram asking me if it was a Subway sub. And no, it wasn't. It was my own sub. And people are kind of impressed uh, the fact that it kind of looked like a Subway sub, which is good because maybe I should be a, a Subway artist. Is that what they call them? A sandwich maker or sandwich artist? Maybe I should uh, apply at Subway, right? <laughs> <laughs> had to stand up because the sun was just beaming. You guys probably can see it up there. Look at the sun just beaming down. So I'm just enjoying my iced coffee. Uh, dinner was really good. I actually had two corn on the cob. Wow, very good. Actually, it's pretty good. The first kind of set of corn on the cob that we've had for this season anyways. Actually, it's pretty good. Very, very sweet, delicious. I'm not sure exactly what else I'll be doing for the rest of the evening. Um, today has been really nice. It was raining this morning. It was just raining all day yesterday, which was really kind of like upsetting. There wasn't much you could do yesterday. Uh, yesterday was just downpouring. I had to get a ride to uh, do my newspapers and it was just downpouring. By the time I got home, my shirt was soaking wet and I went to Tim Hortons first to get an extra large double double because I figured might as well get an extra large that way it can you know keep me caffeinated all day <laughs> so I got an extra large I finished it it was really good I love my double double you guys all know I'm a double double kind of guy you know I'm a Tim Hortons I love Starbucks but you guys all know I go to Tim Hortons all the time it's my uh, coffee shop, as my one might say. It's actually smelling good out here. Someone's grilling on the barbecue. Yeah, actually, it's pretty nice. It's not too hot. I mean, it has a nice little breeze. It's not too hot that uh, you're sweating. There's a nice sun outside, and uh, today has been a really good day. Uh, I went to do my newspapers again today. I went to Food Basics, you guys all know. I went to get a few things for subs, which I loved it. <laughs> Nothing beats a homemade sub, right? Let me know if you guys uh, if you guys make homemade subs quite often at home. Where do you guys go to Subway? Let me know. So right now I am currently uploading another food review. It's on the fruity pebbles, or I should say birthday pebbles, that I had gotten from Treat Galaxy. And it was the 50th birthday collector birthday cake pebbles. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. When it's uploaded, it will be up on the 31st of July. I'm just kind of like scheduling these videos as we go on because we don't know what's going to happen. You know, if uh, some days I might not be feeling that well and I want to review up, it's going to be scheduled. It's going to be released on its day and I don't need to do nothing. I like to schedule these videos uh, ahead of time just to save me some time. So I have uh, two chip reviews coming very soon. I got a chocolate bar on the Twix cookies and cream. Highly recommend guys to check it out very soon. That one will be uploaded on the 22nd. So stay tuned. Lots more reviews coming soon. In tomorrow's vlog, I kind of want to do either the viral TikTok pasta chips or I was thinking about doing like an all day of eating what I eat in a day. It's going to be a lot more interesting in the next couple days. Uh, vlogs are going to be coming out um, a lot more than uh, what has been for the past couple days. So now it is almost nine o'clock and I just had a half of another sub. I had corn for dinner, but I was kind of peckish a little bit. So I made a half of a sub and I gave my girlfriend the other half and she actually loved it actually. So the sub that I made, I'm glad that it's a big success because, you know, uh, I love making subs and I love kind of like making different types of subs. So like different ingredients. I like to change things up. Sometimes I add cucumbers, which is such a big 
thing on a sub it tastes so good not just pickles but cucumbers so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here but i hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog as always if you guys did and you guys want to show your support for me doing these vlogs for you guys you guys know what to do give this video a thumbs up subscribe as always and don't forget to ring that notification bell as long as that notification bell and all of your notifications are turned on you guys get notified the minute that i upload a new vlog all my links to all my social media in the description as always. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's the best way to know exactly what's going on next on the review channel and the vlog channel. So until next time, peace out.